Today I'll be talking to you about earning and managing money, in particular calculating earnings based on piecework and royalties. Piecework is a fixed payment uh, that you earn for everything that you complete. So tailors, for example, if they finish 10 shirts, they'll get paid an amount for each shirt. Uh, piecework is calculated by the number of units of work, which is uh, in the tailor's example how many shirts he completes, multiplied by the amount paid per unit. So if the shop pays him uh, $50 for every shirt he makes, then he'll earn uh, 50, uh, 50 times however many shirts he made. Advantages of this are include an uh, incentive to work hard as income increases with more work completed. So the more you do, the more you'll get paid. Another advantage is flexible hours and workplace. So depending on what you do, you might be able to do it anywhere and at any time. So there is no time limit for making a shirt. You could do it in the morning, you could do it in the afternoon or at night. And assuming you have the tools at home, you could do it at home or at work. Uh, disadvantages of this include not, no permanent employment. So you're only in business uh, for as long as they want you. If they don't need any more shirts, then uh, poor Mr. Taylor has no more business. Uh, there's no superannuation, sick or holiday pay because you are only paid based on what you do. Uh, another source of income is from the government and some people receive a pension, an allowance or benefit from the government. Uh, royalties are a payment for the use of intellectual property such as a book or song. So for example, if uh, uh, a musician creates a song and somebody wants to use his song, he could charge them a royalty, which is usually a percentage of the revenue or profit received from its use. Another example would be uh, a book author, if they write a book and they publish it and they sell it, for every copy sold they would earn a small percentage of the profit. Uh, royalty is calculated by percentage of goods sold or profit received, so that percentage times by that uh, profit. An advantage of this is again an incentive to work hard as income increases with a better product. So if your song is really popular, it might sell a lot of copies and you would earn a lot of money. Uh, flexible hours and workplace, again, same with uh, piecework. There is no real time limit for creation. You can do it anywhere and any time as long as you have the proper equipment. Disadvantages include uh, income varies according to sales. So if you created a song that was not popular, you wouldn't earn as much money. There's, again, there's no superannuation, sick or holiday pay because you're only paid based on what sells. Here's an example. Anthony writes crime novels. He has just received his half yearly statement of sales of his latest novel. He has been informed that 20,000 copies were printed and there are 8,760 left in stock. Anthony receives 15% of the retail price as royalties. How many copies of his latest novel were sold? Well, that's found by the 20,000 that were printed. Take away, sorry, 8,760, which was uh, left over. And that would give you 11,240 sold. Part B, what is Anthony's royalty? if the retail price of his latest novel is $25.95. Well, he earned, sorry, each book earns $25.95 and 11,240 were sold. This comes to an amazing amount of $291,678. So, that's a lot of money for a lot of books sold. Now his royalty, is only a percentage of this and it is a the percentage is 15% so 0.15 multiplied by this amount of profit will give you $43,751.70 so for half a year's work not bad Part C, what is his royalty if the retail price of $25.95 was discounted by 10%? So there are two ways of doing this. Let's get this out of the way. The first way is to calculate only 90%, which is 0 
uh, of the profits. So because it was discounted by 10%, you have 90% left. So if you find that discounted profit, you have $262,510.20 as opposed to that $291,000 odd. And then you can find your royalty on top of this. So multiplying by 0 0.15, uh, which is your percentage, you would get $39,000, sorry, those are dollars, 376 and 53 cents. So that's how much he would have earned if there was a 10% discount on his book. Now, another method would be to find how much he earned the last time, which is 43,751.70 cents, and finding 90% of this. Because if you have a 10% discount on the sales price, it would be a 10% discount on your royalty, and this transfers over. So finding 90% of it, will also give you 39,376.53. So those are two ways of finding this. Now, another example is the maximum youth allowance is reduced by $1 for every $4 that is uh, over 31,400. By how much is Charlotte's youth allowance reduced if her parents earn a combined income of 34728 So this problem has many different parts. First of all, this terminology, $1 for every $4 that's over. Another way of writing that is $0.25 cents for every $1 over. Uh, because I can divide this and this by 4, and that's how I get a quarter and 1. Now, the first part of this question, we need to find out how much over this the parent's income is. So I'll subtract the parent's income, sorry, I'll subtract from the parent's income the limit of 31,400, and I'll get $3,328. Now, it's reduced by 25 cents for every $1 over. So I'll multiply 25 cents with $3,328 and I'll get $832. So that's how much it would be reduced by. Now, if you didn't change this to every $1 over, I would divide this amount by 4 and that would give me the same answer. Of $832.